Come on, I hope this bloody works. Does it work in the mic? Come on. So we are here, Body Matrix Gym. We have this opportunity to be able to provide this morning session for the guys. As you can see Mel, she's doing her lunges. Lane's doing her step ups. Clive's just doing some talking. I don't even know what he's doing talking, but anyway. It's a great thing for us to do as a team. It creates the bonding. So when they hit the ground running, they're in this energized, great state so that they can produce some amazing results for us as a team, collectively. Just landed in Hong Kong. First time here, actually. So I'm really looking forward to the trip. Here with Lion Property Group doing some events. Hello. Uh, just got some people saying hello to me. Got a busy, busy week, but uh, it's going to be awesome and I can't wait. Uh, a little bit tired. I just got off the plane. You can see my eyes are a little bit uh, tired. I did fly business class, so that was nice. So uh, you'll hear more, a lot more from me, but uh, here's the first video. So uh, cheers. See you later. Oh, that's sweet. He's not here. Oh, we'll do this. <laughs> okay, we started this company what, nearly three months ago now, which is amazing how fast the time has passed. But we had a big goal. I live a life like this. This is my own motto in life is I always think big. Okay, and thinking big doesn't mean always wanting the best or the biggest thing in, in what this world can provide. But it's thinking about living and taking calculated risks. Because in my personal life, every time I'd go, you know what, okay, it's enough. I've had enough. I want to be easy. I want to be conservative. I just want to have a simple life. I don't want any more problems. You know what happens? I have even more problems than I had before I was taking risks. It's because you go backwards. You need to continually keep driving, keep driving, and keep driving yourself to the point where you're like, that just becomes a norm. Take the park brake off and you go. Here we go. <laughs> this vlogging thing is um, very new. We made a commitment here at Lion with Mike and Gary and myself to start documenting our journey in order to show people that it's possible to create something really long lasting and meaningful. And the only way that we can do this is through genuine portrayal of what's most meaningful to us. Who considers themselves a risk taker here? What's the last risk that you took? I left everything in India and I came here without any job, with a family and a daughter. And I was sure that it will take some time, six months to maximum one year, but I'll have a better life and everything would be better than what I had. How's that worked out for you? Good, we are happy. Cool, is it better than India? The luxury that I had back in India, it's not the same, but then I can work here, which is more of a priority for me. Yeah. So, yeah. so you left comfort for growth, for the opportunity for you as an individual to grow. Yeah, interesting, cool. How many of you know somebody who has great potential, but doesn't do anything with it? How many of us have been guilty of that? When we look at people and we see that they aren't fulfilling their potential, it's oftentimes because we see the traits that we would exhibit within ourselves. It requires for us to take courage, to step into the face of the unknown, to look fear in the face and say, I'm still going to go ahead and do this anyway. When you look at a, a seed, right, in the earth, it's either what? Green and growing or what? It's ripe and rotting. Ripe and rotting. And these are the choices that we make daily. So we either grow or we rot. The moment that we stop pushing, we start declining. It's super weird, right, to be looking at a camera and just to be chatting as though, um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here with you, the viewer. Like, it's kind of a surreal experience because it's well outside of my comfort zone. I'm not used to this sort of stuff. 
when we're looking to grow, when we're looking to develop our skill sets and abilities, we need to be willing to push the envelope. We need to be willing to step outside of the comfort zone. And this is the importance of hustle. It's the importance of doing the, the do and learning the lesson along the way. How do you break the surface of the earth if you don't actually put the effort in? This is, this is a wicked setup. <laughs> it feels like we're in the radio station. <laughs> the host. <laughs> and, <I. laughs> and welcome. <laughs> welcome everybody to the Infinity Effect. It's Gary Pesachinski, Michael Perimol, and John Sader coming to you from Lion Property Group. Hello. Howdy, guys. We're sitting here in Melbourne, Australia. Beautiful part of the world. Love it here. And, um, you know, recently I was over in... Asia or Southeast Asia and Hong Kong and, and, and traveling around, came back and, and had some great meetings and had some great, met some great people. And it was interesting. And I was talking to Gary after I came back going, oh, they want me to come back and build a relationship and get to know them a bit better and sit down and talk a little bit more and, and all that. And it's sort of like, oh man, it's, that's a lot of hard work. You know, you got to get on another plane, go away from your family again and, 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 and be away for a week on end or two weeks or whatever it may be. And it's like, oh, is it worth it? And you know, the, the wisdom from Gary was, yeah, it is. It's like, that's the kind of stuff you need to do to put in the effort to get those results. But it's so easy not to do that. It's so easy to just go, ah, oh, screw that. Nah, I'm not doing it, it's too hard. Uh, but you know, in, in those moments of realization where you say, you know what, those small one percenters, even if it is, get back on a plane, go and sit in front of someone, smile at them, shake their hand, build that relationship. That's what builds that legacy. You know, you, you drop those little pebbles in the ocean and the ripples go around the world. But just that moment when you did decide to go, yep, no, I'm not gonna give up, but yes, I'll actually move forward. What has actually transpired since that moment? I, I don't know, I felt that it's just, things have just like, oh. like opened up and just like everything's starting to happen. Yeah, 100%. Doorways have opened everywhere. Just making that decision has, expanded the opportunity exponentially already. And one, one of the great examples of, of that is your own commitment, Gary. We've had the privilege of working with you for quite some time now um, and watching from the exterior the commitment to showing up day after day and hitting the gym and doing what you do. It's in the act of implementing these these habits and these routines mm -hmm. that 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 phenomenal result is achieved yeah <laughs> for sure look what what comes to mind when when you were mentioning that and thanks john it it is a consistency but you don't actually know how long you need to keep going in terms of period of time to show that consistency it could be a week a month a year 10 years for the rest of your life but I tell you, if you do continue and make it part of your life, it's amazing what you impart on others. And I, and I noticed that around the office where we have a few people who wanted to start exercising. And because they keep referencing back to me and asking me for some advice about what I should be doing, how I should be doing it, I said, well, just keep doing the same thing. If you do it every day, bit by bit, little inch by inch, you will get to the outcome that you want. We hear the words, oh, it's all about the journey, not the destination, those sort of things, but uh, it truly is. It truly is. Because it allows you to grow, develop, and contribute back. The overnight success model um, does happen overnight, but it probably takes about 20, 30, 40 years for that night to happen. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. No, I'm totally <laughs> agree. 